Hi, this is Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm here with another user request from Debbie who would like some help redoing her front door after some hurricane damage. So I'm going to jump in and show a couple different options. I'm not sure exactly what you want help with here. Um, this looks like really bad damage. Um, looks like you've already replaced the door with this door, which is really nice looking. So I'll give you a couple options and show you a couple things you can do to help you visualize maybe how you'd finish these sides and a couple other things you can do. So let me switch over to the app real quick and again I'm on my tablet your layout may look a little bit different if you're on a phone but it's the same app and I'm gonna jump in and load your image which I put on my Google Drive So let's work with this image, which is probably the easiest image to work with. And you can always do a full remodel, but I think you're just looking to change a couple things because this door is already very nice. Um, so I would use the replace tool, and then you can zoom in a bit, which is a little hard to do on my emulator here. And let's see then you would say let's just use the brush and probably just replace these side doors and let's just see what the AI comes up with if I replace these things over on the side you don't need to mask it perfectly um, just cover the area we want to replace And that looks like it covered basically everything. So from here, you can give it some really specific instructions. Um, I'm not going to give it anything. I just want to see what it generates if I don't give it any feedback at all. Let me recenter the view here. I don't love any of those. Um, you, let's give it some beautiful entryway. Um, nice side windows. What was there before, I wonder? And let's click generate. Excuse me. Hi, it's Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm here with another user request from Debbie who would like some help redesigning her front door um, that is she's having to replace due to some hurricane damage. Looks like pretty extensive damage. And it looks like you've already replaced what was this white door with two side panels with a nice, beautiful door here. And I'm guessing you want help with these side panels. I'm not exactly sure. This looks very nice. Um, so I'll show you a couple things you can do in the app to explore different options. Let me jump over to the app real quick. And again, I'm on a tablet emulator here, so yours may look a little bit different on the phone. Uh, the layout may just be a little bit different, but it's the same. And I've already loaded your image in here. And the first thing I would do, I mean, you could always do a full remodel, but I'm guessing you want to keep this door. It looks really nice, and I love the hardware too. 
Um, so I would just use the replace tool and say let's replace certain areas of this photo. And what you can do is very carefully say let's replace these sides. And this step is one of the important steps called masking and you want to make sure you mask exactly what you want to replace and maybe a little bit more. And so I'm going to mask all of that area to replace. Make sure we cover it all because it's only allowed to change the pixels that I mask. You notice I didn't mask this edge of the brick right here because I want it to know where the brick ends. Um, so we're going to ask the AI basically to replace these two areas with something. First thing we do is give it no guidance at all. Just click generate and see what the AI comes up with. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, because we haven't really given it any guidance to what we want. Um, but I just want to see what it picks. Looks like it replaced it with brick, and there it extended the brick. If we wanted to do that, I would probably change the mask to this whole area, and then it would just fill in that brick with this brick instead of having a step right there. But since I didn't allow it to change those pixels, it has to keep that step. So that is one option. You could just extend the brick. I'm guessing you probably don't want to do that. Um, so let's go with beautiful entryway wood uh, side windows on side of door, dark wood. You could ask for plants. You could do all sorts of things. But let's just see how that works. Again, a lot of this is about experimentation. There's really two variables you can play with here. One is the mask, which is you know the area you're trying to replace, and the other one is the prompt. You could also provide a style image if you have an, an image of a entryway that you love and you want to see that same kind of look applied here. I personally like that, where you're just extending the dark wood in some way, maybe putting in some more windows. That probably makes the most sense. Then it, you know here it just extended the brick again. Uh, but something like this, I think, probably makes the most sense, but you would have to match that wood. So, you know, I don't know what your budget is or what your abilities are in terms of matching and customizing a side window over here, but I would probably go with something like that. Um, you can also do other things. You know, you could say, well, you know, now that we've done that, we could experiment with entire different looks. And let's say here um, what kind of room is this what the fuck hi it's Dirk with Remodel AI and I'm here with a user request from Debbie who would like help redesigning her entryway into her home after some hurricane damage looks like pretty extensive damage and flooding uh, it looks like you had a white single door there and you've already replaced this with a beautiful dark wood door with side windows and I'm guessing you want help with maybe these areas here or maybe down here I don't know but I will show you how to use the app to brainstorm a couple ideas and see what you really like uh, so let's jump over to the app here again this is on my tablet emulator here so your layout may look a little different on your phone but it's the same app and I've already loaded your image so you could always jump in and just do a full remodel, but I'm guessing now that you've put this beautiful door in, you probably want to keep that. So let's use the replace tool and just replace a couple things. Uh, so the first step of the replace tool is called masking, and I'm going to choose what I want to replace. And I'm going to very carefully just mask out this little side area here. You'll notice I didn't mask out the edge of the brick here, because I don't want it to change where the brick ends, because I'm assuming you don't want to do that. And then let's mask over here as well. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, you probably want to go a little bit over, generally speaking, to give it more room. And here I didn't mask. I mask over mask the bricks here a bit. But this is the important thing. You don't want to mask this edge because I'm assuming you don't want to change where that is. The next step is describing what you want. I don't really know what you're going for here. Let's just hit generate and see what the AI comes up with. Um, and then after that, we can give it a little bit more guidance and try some different things to guide to something more specific. Uh, 
Uh, that's okay. It's asymmetric. I don't really love that. It kind of messed up the brick over here. This one saying to add brick here, that seems like a lot of work to really close that in. And then again here, it's just adding more brick, but at a different layer because, we, again, we kept the edge here. So I don't love that. Let's give it a more specific thing. Uh, beautiful entryway, side windows, dark wood. And let's just try that. Quick generate. So there's two big variables we're going to play with here to get different results. One is the mask. You can go back to the previous step and change it, make it smaller, make it bigger. And you can try different prompts, as they're called, or different descriptions. I really like that. Um, that's cool, you know, basically. But that was, those windows are a little bit big. And here it kind of did a mixture of between. But again, you know, experiment here. Hit generate, hit generate. I really like that first image which was basically extend the wood over here and do another custom window that looks the same as this side window that came with this door I don't know if that you know is within your abilities to do but I think that's probably the best approach it just looks very nice and that's again what it's suggesting here here it suggested brick here's just adding a plant and brick but I really like something like this um, so I don't know if that's within your abilities uh, but I would go ahead and accept that. And again, you can do other things. You don't have to finish there. We can say, um, let's replace all this concrete with something. And let's just say a uh, beautiful entryway. Um, and give it basically no guidance on what we want in terms of the floor and just see what it comes up with. Tile. Tile with a rug. I don't love any of those. The plants are a nice touch. Maybe we could play with adding some plants. That is really ugly. The tile does look pretty decent. You don't have a step there. Um, beautiful entryway, flat tile clean let's try something like that yeah I like something like that Probably something like that. Even got the reflections kind of nicely done here. So let's go with that. And then, you know, if you wanted to actually play around, you could probably do something like, um, you know, replace those areas and say plants. Decorate entryway. And let's just see if it adds some plants for us. And you could probably remove this with either the replace tool or the remove tool. I'll show you the remove tool just because it doesn't involve prompting. So you can just say, let's get rid of that. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a birdhouse or something. And then the last thing I would probably do is maybe replace this up top the ceiling here 
So let's see if we can do one more replace operation and kind of clean up this ceiling. I want to show it a little bit. Well, the problem is it may raise the ceiling. If I replace this all, you know what I'll do? Instead of doing the replace, I'll just add it to reskin it. Basically, reskin means keep the existing structure, but change the surface. So, so we could ask for a dark ceiling. We could ask for any sort of thing. I'm just going to actually use a previous, you know, basically no guidance and say, you know, hey, just generate me a new ceiling. But if you wanted to ask for something specific, dark tile, wood, you know, that's where you would put a description here. So rescan is very similar to replace. It's just going to keep the existing 3D structure. We didn't want to do that on these areas over here because we wanted to admit something new. But in the rescan case, we do. It did like a popcorn ceiling. That's really not very good. I don't love any of those. That just kind of cleaned it up with, and it added a light, which is not terrible, but doesn't look particularly good. Let me just try it one more time. And again, you know, there's two things you could play with here, the mask and the prompt. Those are the major variables. Um, so if you're not getting results after a while that you really like, you know, I would try with that. So something like clean white ceiling nice light nice recessed light and then let's generate that Yeah, and that's kind of what I would expect. A, a nice just clean ceiling, maybe a recessed light or two. Um, I actually kind of like this the most. Um, I don't know what that is, but here's what you can do. If you know you get a generation that you mostly like, okay, let's just go to the Remove tool and then remove all that. Still left a little weird thing up here, so I'm going to generate it one more time. Why is it leaving that weird? Did I miss? Oh, I might have missed it in the mask. Anyway, you can repeat the operation. Okay, I definitely masked it that time. And again, you could give it a better mask. I'm just going quick here so that we can get some good results. Um, and again, you can always, let me just save that. That's probably what I would go with. And, you know, you could explore more drastic changes. Say, hey, let's, you know, do a you know specific style entryway. But I'm guessing because you've already, you know, done that entire door, that you're going to want to keep that door because that door is really nice looking. I really like the hardware and the wood and the windows. So it probably makes more sense to just use the replace tool to do incremental changes instead of something drastic like this. You know, you're not going to change the brick or paint the brick. You're probably not going to replace that door. But if you do want to go down to more drastic options, you can always use the full remodel tool. So hopefully that helps give you an idea of some of the tools you can use to help you visualize and play with different options and see what you like and see what direction you want to go. Good luck recovering all the damage from your hurricane and uh, hopefully this will help. Thank you.